let's see here home security baby care elder care pet care shop surveillance you're watching this video because you're looking for a low-cost IP network camera that can be used in the scenarios that I uh, highlighted just now uh, well you've come to the right place today we'll be reviewing the Camtron wireless IP network camera and it is a nice low-cost camera that you can set up very easily and it's easy to use let's take a look at it hi guys this is Lali the tinkering tech and on this channel I make stuff and do tech reviews so please consider subscribing let's jump into the video Alrighty, let's see what's inside the box. So apparently they're running some promotion about a free SD card. Um, there are some instructions here on how to redeem it. I don't know if that'll be the case for every um, shipment they make for this product, but anyway, worth noting. Okay, um, it's a nice little box that it's packed in. It's got a, um, these are the instruction manual. Um, here's an RJ45 uh, Ethernet cable if you want to hardwire this thing. I think that's an option they give you. What else do they have? Um, this is a micro USB cable to power the device, I assume. Um, here's a wall mount. This seems pretty okay the plastic's kind of flimsy but then again you don't need a high quality wall mount since this thing is not very heavy uh, but this goes in the wall and you can oops and you can um, how does this go yeah it goes in here and you can adjust the um, the camera angle as needed so that's that what else uh, they give you a power adapter that would go with the with the USB cable to power the device. Uh, some mounting hardware. And here's the camera. Let's take a look. Looks pretty nice. Uh, pretty well built. Doesn't seem very flimsy or anything. Um, yeah, what's on the back? So you have you have a micro USB port for the power. Uh, there's a SD card slot. Uh, here's a reset switch. And then you got a uh, RJ45 connector here. If you, if you want to hardwire this thing, of course you have a Wi-Fi option as well. Uh, but if you want something more reliable, then I would recommend the, the ethernet cable that connects here. So this guy will go right here if you don't want to use a Wi-Fi option. Um, yeah. And then the SD card will go in there. What else does it have? So here's a microphone port. Uh, these look like indicators for Wi-Fi and uh, Ethernet connectivity. If you hardwire it. And then um, this is the camera, as you can see. And this thing swivels up and down. So let's hook it up and uh, see how it works. The cable that comes with the camera seems like a pretty... A long USB cable it's about five feet uh, in length so that gives a lot of room to work with uh, when you have to run this uh, to an outlet to power it so let's plug this thing in so it seems to be on uh, you can see a little red LED in there so this seems to be the app that you have to download I'm using an Android device uh, it says MIPC uh, when I type in Camtron in the Google Play Store So now let's uh, open the app and see what the configuration looks like. We're now going to skip ahead and take a look at the actual usage of the camera. Uh, we're not going to cover the setup of the camera or the app setup. Uh, these are pretty straightforward to do as uh, if you can follow along the instructions as provided uh, with the camera. Uh, the actual camera setup was a little finicky. Uh, it was a little difficult to get it to um, uh, basically set up uh, with your Wi-Fi network. 
uh, this is weird uh, like an audio thing that the camera plays that your uh, phone has to listen to in order to get get it to work correctly and to actually connect to the network uh, so other than that it was it was okay the process wasn't too complicated but uh, as I said earlier if you can follow along the instructions you should be able to set it up let's take a look at the usage of the camera okay I now have the uh, camera set up and also the app installed and running uh, it definitely was a bit of a process to get the um, camera connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, it was a little flaky at times. Um, I, I don't know why. I just It just took a bit of effort to get the camera to actually start the uh, configuration process using the reset button according, according to the instructions. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a process just tr trying to get the camera set up by pressing the reset button. Uh, you're supposed to hear a voice prompt that took a bit of time. So um, overall, I would say the user experience is not that great setting it up, uh, but nevertheless, I was able to get it working. So here I have uh, created an account uh, on the app. I've added the camera and uh, there's a wizard that walks you through the process. And uh, here you see the camera has been uh, enabled and uh, you can actually see the live feed. So if I just move my hand in front of it, the camera, you can see it. So right there, the camera is facing this box here so you can actually uh, you can actually move the camera around by just swiping up or down and uh, left or right as well and you can also zoom in like that by pinching so yeah um, some of the features they have here are uh, you can listen to audio so um, so th there's actually a uh, a microphone on the camera itself that uh, will allow you to uh, listen to audio and there is a mic that you can speak through and there is a microphone um, and there is a speaker on the camera that you can speak through as well by holding down uh, the press to speak button here on the app Testing, one, two, three. And with the audio enabled. And with the audio enabled, you can hear yourself. Let me shut it off before it has some echo. Uh, you also have a option to take uh, snapshots if you wanted to. You can take freeze frames. You can also record video clips by hitting the little video icon and this saves uh, the clips locally to your phone. Uh, it says it's in uh, 1080p HD. And here you have a few other um, video related uh, control knobs like brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and also you can do auto day and night mode. The camera also is able to do night vision. So if you turn off the lights, it actually switches to night vision automatically. That concludes a review of the Camtron wireless network camera, uh, which is a nice 1080p camera uh, that's uh, low cost and easy to use. Uh, if you'd like this video, please smash the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you'd like to purchase a camera, there's a link in the description below uh, where you can purchase the camera. Uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, catch you on the next one.